Hey guys, it's Wisdom Wednesdays, and I want to talk to you all about the importance in being naked. That's right, we're taking off our clothes today, and we're talking about why we need to be able to stand in front of the mirror without anything covering us, and just smile. Your body is the only body that you're going to have in this lifetime, and you need to be kind, you need to be gentle, you need to honor that body like it truly is a temple. It is the biggest tool that you will ever have and use, and... It's going to be with you every step of the way. So if you don't like it and you're being mean and harsh and not taking care of it, that means that every day of your life is going to be that much tougher, that much harder to enjoy. You guys know that fitness is a big part of my life. It is a big part of my career and I am super passionate about it. Working out is incredibly important. And again, it means you swim, you run, you bike, you go to class, whatever the case is for you and your fitness, you need to do stuff that pushes your body so that it changes, so that it stays strong, so that it stays flexible, and that you have a good sense of balance. All of these things are key to a general and important wellness and well-being within yourself. It's not just an aesthetic. And yes, again, that might be the driving factor for you in why you choose to do it. But we need to remember that it's also about our health and living a longer, healthier life with those that we love. Again, if you're not going to do it for you, then do it for someone that you love. However, eventually, this will come to a place that just feels like a breaking point. It's got to be for you at the end of the day. So find the reason deep in yourself and ask yourself, why am I not honoring my body? Why am I not taking care of it? What is going on? Because a lot of the time, the way we look on the outside is a reflection of how we feel on the inside. And the chances are that if you do not like what you see on the outside, that you're beating yourself up and saying nasty things to yourself, things you probably wouldn't even say to your worst enemy, I'm fat, I'm dumb, I'm lazy, I'm out of shape. You know, the list goes on and on why we are not considered good enough to ourselves. That shit's got to stop. It's not good for you and it's not going to help you get anywhere that you want to be in your life. So it's time that you adjusted that thought process and go, you know what? It's a journey. It's a one step at a time kind of thing. One day at a time kind of thing. I'm not going to have all the results I want overnight. It's going to take months. It's going to take years sometimes to get to that breaking point. And you will have a breakthrough if you push long enough and hard enough through those workouts that just don't feel easy. It's not supposed to be easy. Anything that is easy usually means the result is just okay. Things that are hard and that challenge you and that you are scared of are what changes your life in most dramatic, important, and magical ways. There's a lot of focus and emphasis right now on pushing and being strong and CrossFit and boot camps and soul cycles and all of these things are amazing, and I love that people have gotten so into fitness. But we also need to remember to relax and to breathe and to stretch and keep the flexibility going. So things like Pilates and yoga and massages and acupuncture are incredibly important to combine with that rigorous activity so that you don't injure yourself, which then puts you back into the beginning phase of having to start all over again. Ten minutes of stretching in the beginning of a workout will help warm up your body, will help loosen it up, feel a little bit more flexible and ready to move. Therefore, when you go and push the body as you do that rigorous activity, it won't feel as hard and you are less prone to injury, which is incredibly important, you guys. Additionally, at the end of a workout, you should cool down 10 minutes of stretching or you just kind of do a little bit of yoga moves or put yourself into a butterfly position. Whatever it is, let your body start to relax and cool down so then again, it is not just in shock from that high intensity to all of a sudden nothing. This is how we prevent injury and this is incredibly important. I cannot stress this enough. A lot of the time we hold a lot of tension in our shoulders, in our jaw, in our hip flexors. That's your crotch. It's incredible how many people hold tension in their crotch. No one's getting laid enough these days and that's just what it is. But honestly, besides the little jokes that I make, it's true. We hold tension in our bodies. We hold stress and anxiety in our bodies. And it's not from working out. It's from our mental thoughts. It's from our days of feeling stressed at work and within our family and our friends. And we do not breathe enough. It is incredible to me how many of my personal clients and boot campers do not breathe when they are moving. And if you don't breathe when you're exercising, you don't breathe in life. You need to really consider when it is that you are holding your breath because holding your breath is keeping everything tense and tight and held, and that's when you hurt yourself. Again, it is not just the mind 
not just the body, not just the soul. It is a triple weaving process where all of those things must work together in order to have the body you want, the, the mindset that you want, and the spiritual calmness that you need in your life. Again, all of these things are incredibly important to living the life that you want and being fulfilled and happy and being grateful. So catch yourself today. See if you are not breathing. If you aren't, then take one big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and do it right now. It's incredible how many people just start to smile or laugh or cry because they are just holding in emotions rather than just being a robot and not breathing. We got to breathe, y'all. So again, understand that this, this, this day today is a marker for you to make the change that you need. Even if it's just the mindset, that is a step in the right direction. Be kind to yourself. Be gentle to yourself. Stop talking nasty to yourself. It's not doing you any good. And if you haven't gotten naked in front of the mirror, I dare you today to go home and take off your clothes and stand there naked. If you can't look at yourself, then you need to address those reasons and start to make that change today. If you can stand there and love what you see, then amazing. Great. Keep doing what you're doing. But remember that it's not just all about the outside either. You need to be working on that inside as well. You know, it is what it is. Being naked is our most pure form. I think it's fun. I love it. But again, I'm not going to be naked all the time. That's just not life. But it is so important to honor the skin that you are in and treat your body as if it is truly godly. Because again, we all are little bits of this miracle creation. I hope that this was a nice little reminder for you to be kind to yourself, to take care of your body, and again, to take off your clothes from time to time and have fun with yourself, because that's okay. It is natural. It is normal, and there's nothing wrong with that. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your hump day, your Wednesday, and that you continue to tune in and follow along. If you haven't already subscribed, then please click that little button up there right now and let you know when a new video is up and ready to go. If you got a question or a comment, please feel free to leave it in the section below. That way we can get a conversation going. Again, this is my expertise. I am a certified personal trainer and boot camp instructor. And what I love to do is tell you guys how to just live a better life because I've done it for myself. And last but not least, if you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let me know that you care, that you like this video, and that you want to see more videos just like this. And last but not least, 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 skeet, 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 the Heart Happy Bracelet is still up on my website. We got a new batch ready to go. Portions of the proceeds go to charity. And again, it's a nice little reminder for you from yourself to be kind to yourself, to be gentle with yourself, to stop talking negatively about yourself and work on all those things that we need to do. And most importantly, approach every day and everyone with a little bit of love. Till next time, I will talk to you guys much, uh, much soon. I will talk to you soon. Much love over and out.